Hey guys, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 31 of this video series. Before proceeding, please watch part 30 in order to return multiple model to a view. Okay, so now in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about how can you create a dynamic menu in an ASP.NET MVC application. Okay, so I'm creating this tutorial because of my viewers request. So before starting, please do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed. Okay, so let's get started. So here in the previous tutorial, I was just showing the data from model A and model B. So let's have the view of it. So here you can see the data from model A and model B. So if you notice that on the left side, I'm displaying the director message. Okay. So this is actually my sidebar. So when I go to my login page, then I'll see the same sidebar. Okay and on my registration page I'll see the same contained here okay so when I on, uh, on my index page you can see the same content I'm just displaying the uh, director message and when I go to my login page the same code is written here also and on my registration page the same content is here okay so in order to optimize my code I'll just use the partial view and I'll just put this content into partial view and call that partial view on each page okay so that should be the great idea so let's cre create a partial view so first we stop the application and right click on your share folder and add a few okay and just name it side menu and just add okay and just cut this and paste it here okay and uh, just go to the controller and create a method that will return this partial view I can directly call that action result let's say side menu and that will return a partial view return partial view and inside that you can just mention your partial view name so this is side menu is that okay yeah side menu and I'll just call this method here so I'll just use the HTML dot render action so HTML dot render action and this will require the method name side menu and my controller name that is test okay and semicolon copy this method and use it on each page so from here I'll just delete that instead of using that code uh, on my registration page I'll use this partial view okay so so instead of writing on each page uh, I'm just using this code in my partial view and using that partial view on every page okay now let's run this and let's see what's gonna happen here here you go and now you can see the sidebar content okay when I go to register page then I'll see the same content okay and when I go to my index page then I'll see the same content here okay 
now this is the main idea behind behind creating a menu okay so I'll just go to my sidebar menu and I'll just display the static list of uh, link okay so I'll just create an order list and I'll just give a class that is list group right list sorry okay and use this class list group item okay and inside this I'll just display an anchor href let's say test controller name slash home In, instead of home I'll just use this index okay and uh, my home text and I'll just give a class btn space btn default and use btn block okay and just copy this sorry control set copy this and paste it here okay so now refresh so this time you can see some link here on the top okay so here you go and uh, when you click on this then you will be redirect to this page okay you can just make this link uh, dynamic so in order to make it dynamic first you just need to bring the data from database okay so here I will just uh, create custom data list okay so first uh, I'll just create a model that is let's say menu item okay and here I'll just define the property public string let's say your link name get set and then your link okay so I have just defined the two properties here now I'll save that and go to my controller and here I'll just create the object of that okay so list of menu item list equal new list okay and I'll just add some item inside it so I'm not uh, getting that data from database so instead of that I'll just add custom data that is new menu item and in curly braces put a space you here is your link you can put anything like home slash oh sorry in my case it is test index and put a comma and then a space what is my link name so my link name would be home okay and just copy this paste it here and paste it here 
okay and my login and my registration so register here I'm just giving my local project link that is login okay and I'll just pass this list into the partial view okay so in order to create the dynamic link okay so I'll just go to my uh, side menu and I'll just use the model space uh, my MVC tutorial dot models so there if you notice that I'm just returning a list so I just need to use the I enumerable and inside that I'll just put that content here models dot menu item okay and inside this list group I'll just check at the rate if my model is not equal to null okay then I'll use for each where item in model okay and here I can display my link control X control V and let's delete that or you can choose your custom link here also so list so instead of this I'll use at the rate item dot my link and here I'll just use item item dot link name okay and uh, suppose here I want to display some other link which is static so HTTP colon forward slash google dot com and here you can see google and let's copy one more link that is tech no tips tutorial dot block spot dot com okay here official block okay so this is my static link and this is my dynamic link so I have just put into my partial view okay and now let's run this and let's see what's gonna happen here so here you will find five links okay oh instead of side menu you can refresh your index and just cut that because you can't see your side menu here it will be displaying an error so here you go so this is uh, your s side menu okay now use the different button so that it could be uh, uh, use primary okay so you can use primary and for this for you can use success for green and for let's say warning okay now refresh this you can see different color buttons okay so this is basically your side menu okay and you can use it anywhere on your page you just need to call this uh, partial view you can just put that 
content into partial view it can be dynamic and uh, it can be static okay so you can just you just need to call this like this so you can uh, just call this method and that method will return a partial view and in inside the partial view you can pass your data and you can generate a dynamic link here okay and also you can display the static link okay when I hover on it then you can see uh, on the bottom left side corner you can see the list uh, link test test slash index and when I hover on that google.com and uh, official blog okay when I click on home then it it will be redirect to index when I click click on login then I'll be there okay and if you want to uh, give it a title so you just need to put uh, you just need to uh, add panel so panel is the good idea to display the data so use panel and panel uh, you can use default panel and use another div inside the panel you will be having the panel heading okay so panel heading and inside that you can display your menu item and then you can use your class equal to panel body okay and you can cut it and paste it here and now run this so this time you will be having a hero for this okay so that should be the great and when I go to index page then I'll see the same content okay and here's my director message okay so in this way you can create a dynamic menu so I hope this is easy and you can uh, you have understood this how to create that so it's very simple okay so I am done here and if you have any query then you can uh, put a comment and uh, if you like my video then give a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe my channel for uh, exciting MVC videos okay so thank you very much bye bye have a great day